more. Give me yarn 418. The purple bear. And Dewey. Here for, thank God it's finished, TGIF. I did attempt to leave him downstairs, but the crying downstairs of him at the bottom of the steps. Mommy, why'd you leave me down here? It was too much for me to bear. It was breaking my heart. So this is going to be a one-handed video again. Anyway, it's been two weeks, since, well, just under two weeks, since I last recorded a video, and I thought I would come and show you what I've been working on. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, next Thursday the 29th is my five-year YouTube anniversary, and I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway, um, and I'll make a video next Thursday about what you need to do to enter and what the prize or prizes will be. I haven't decided if I'm going to do one big prize package or if I'm going to do a few smaller packages, so I'm going to muddle that over for the next week or so. But stay tuned for that, and remember, you'll have to be a subscriber to join that giveaway. Coffee is essential to life. Um, the other thing is the Secret Santa sign-ups are going on for another week, so if you haven't signed up for Secret Santa and you want to, please head on over there and sign up. And if you have not edited your questionnaire just saved a spot you need to go over there and do that too uh, as I say every year if you do not have a wish list or a Pinterest dream board or something like that I highly suggest you make one it makes it so much uh, easier for Santa to spoil you with things that he or she knows you'll like and the other thing about Secret Santa is if you're international still sign up there are people that are will ship internationally. Um, there are, Some people will only ship in the U.S. or their home country, but there are plenty of people who will ship internationally. Okay, so you came here to see what I have been knitting on. And the last time you saw me, I... Let's start with finished objects, as always. I don't know why that's a surprise to me. Um, I finished the Arnie and Carlos socks out of Arnie and Carlos design line. I think this is the third rendering of it. And the color is 2463. I got this at Northern Lights Yarn Shop in Norwich, Vermont. And I have finished those. And I love these socks. And I'm going to try and get another skein of this yarn maybe in a different color to knit myself a pair. I don't think I have any other of the third the third line, the third series. So, love them, but I love Regia and I love Arnie and Carlos, so that's not really a big shocker. And Kristen loves them, so many people ask about my sock blockers. Um I got these from stitches and I actually had I had paid for them at stitches and then sent the image that I wanted on mine they offered them in all different ones the chihuahua and I bought the chihuahua ones from the same people the chihuahua ones were offered the Bernie's mountain dog ones I found a silhouette that I liked and they custom made them for me and it might say on here they're by perfectly catchy designs a lot of people do ask me about the sock blockers, and I think they are bought them several years ago, but I, I think they were about $30. I think. Don't quote me on that. So, Arnie and Carlos socks. I love them. This, like, little shock of purple. Love it. Um, what else? Pebble Beach. I had been working on Pebble Beach, and I finished it. Let me find the right side. And... It came out beautiful and enormous. Let's start. I have um, blocked it, but I don't cut off my tails until after I block it, and I just pulled it off the blocking board, so it's really pretty. I have decided who I will be giving this to. Um, it is not my color. I'm, I'm too, I do love it, and I want it, but it's definitely not my color. Uh, it's a beautiful color. 
Um, so I'll probably knit another one for myself in a color that won't make me look, as someone so kindly pointed out, jaundiced. <laughs> but anyway, Pebble Beach, pay for pattern, gifted to me by the lovely Ming Mao. Fun pattern. I knit the medium size, and it's it's huge. It's, it's longer than my wingspan. I'm five, five one. So that's five one, five one and this much. So probably like six feet, maybe a little bit longer. Loved it, and it was fun. It was a fun little knit. Um, I didn't do, I did not do the pico bind off. I just did a loose uh, knit bind off because of who I decided to give it to, not who I decided to give it to, but I just didn't want to do it, and I was afraid I was going to run out of yarn. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Pico Bind Off. Next, next, next. Uh, last time we met, I showed you these two mittens, ornaments, and I still haven't blocked them because I finished another one. And this is number 23. <coughs> And this is a three color mitten and has deer on it. It has a deer on the thumb, which was kind of challenging, but I love them. I'm going to knit some more, but to start, I'm going to block these three because I am going to be having a blocking party and you will see why. And you'll see why right now, if I can find it. Where are they? Oh, they're right behind me. Um... I knit Dewey's Angry Sheep sweater, and this is just a pattern that I came up with. Uh, I had knit him a sweater that I liked, but then I made some tweaks from drops, and then I lost that pattern for the tweaks that I had made to it. So then I used the sweater that I tweaked, and came tried to recreate it and that's what I did but this time I actually wrote it down and I know where the directions are so this is out of county I don't know how you spell it say it k-a-u-n-i in the color h2 and I don't remember what the other one is but it is linked on my human angry sheep sweater and the black is just some sport weight I think it's lion brand superwash merino and this still needs to be blocked, but he looks absolutely adorable in it. How cute is that? We're going to be twins. I can't find. Where's my sweater? Where is my sweater? I see it somewhere. Here. It is over here. Okay. So you want to see? We're going to be twins. I still have to sew buttons on mine. So here's my sweater. And here's his sweater. Oh my god, we're going to be twins. I can't wait. And we're going to, when I finish, mine's finished, it just needs buttons. Um, and I need to cut off the, the ends from blocking. When it's finished and blocked, we're going to do a little mommy, mommy, dog, doggy photo shoot. Oh, it's so cute. So that's part of the blocking party. Should I hold it up again? It's like freaking adorable. See, Dewey needs, because of Dewey's um, stones and his bladder, his aim is not the great. So he needs to have a really high belly or he pees all over everything. So, oh my god, it's so cute. And short little, don't make the sleeves too long because then he just gets, he trips over them if they go beyond the elbow. So, angry sheep doggy sweater. I just love it. Where are you going, bud? My goal is for him not to bark. And it's not working. It's working so far, so. And then I decided he needed another dog sweater. And it's hanging up, so I can't take it down. But this is inspired by both Kristen and Terry. Terry loves VW Bugs, and Kristen made a painting. I'm watching him. Okay, we're back. He says, are you here to see my sweaters? So, based on Kristen's Roger Rhinebeck painting that she did, um, 
there's actually a lot of stuff coming with that image on it. I decided to make a VW Bug sweater for him using the same pattern. This is uh, Cascade 220 Sport and the green and the teal. The black is the same black from the sheep sweater. And the white is Knit Picks Wool of the Andes Sport. So, O-M-G! So stinking cute! Look at that! And I was going to use the pattern, the chart from the dub ball that I made, but that was only nine stitches wide and I needed a wider and, and it was really short. I needed it wider and taller and I wanted it to have rear view mirrors. See the rear view mirrors? You'll be able to see them better after it's blocked. Um, so I recharted it so it was 13 stitches high and 12 stitches wide and then I added this chevron throughout and I just think it's so freaking adorable and he looks so cute in it. I did make the neck a little bit too long but that's okay. And I'm gonna have to block it because it needs to stretch a little the color work section. I probably should have gone up because there's one two three four colors in that section. I probably should have gone up a needle size in that section but I didn't. Um, come here. Um, live and learn. Next time I probably will. So, oh my god, it's so cute. And he took some pictures with it on, and he looks grumpy in all his pictures, but he's not grumpy. He just, he, uh, doesn't have any teeth. He has one, one, two, three teeth. So, this is part of the blocking party also. And that is what I finished in the last week, week and a half. What have I been working on? Well, I can tell you what I haven't been working on. I haven't been working on White Pine, which is my Rhinebeck sweater, and Rhinebeck is three weeks away. I actually think I'm going to wear the Angry Sheep sweater um, because it's a sheep sweater. It's New York Sheep and Wool, and I wore a sheep sweater last year, and Terry told me that I have to wear a sheep sweater every year from now on. So I guess that's set in stone. <laughs> um... I have not worked on the stroker, which is sitting right here. And you want to know why I didn't work on that? Because I didn't even bring it downstairs and, since two weeks ago. And I have not worked on the Santa advent calendar because I didn't realize that it was a pillow. And I don't want it to be a pillow. I want to back it in some felt and hang it on the wall. Because if it's a pillow, the dogs will attack it. So that's kind of in limbo. I'm going to try and figure out a way to adapt that to a flat wall hanging as opposed to the hat is knit in the round and a lot of stuff is knit in the round and I'm sure I can figure it out. It's just a matter of taking the time and sitting down and doing that. So haven't knit on that. But what have I knit on? Well, I've knit on my scrap yarn blanket, which I have finally decided to copy, yes I said copy, copy Dawn, Knit and Wolf, and call it the Scrappy Happy Blanket because I just did. Um, I finished my fifth row last week and did some math and figured out this is going to take me seven years to finish. Seven more years if I continue at the rate I am going. So I'm, I'm going to have to pull it out a little bit more often because I don't want it to take seven years. Anyway, um, like I said, this is huge because I would like to put it on my guest bed as the comforter. And I wove in the ends for all but the top row. So I knit this square, which I can't remember what it is. <laughs> I knit this square which is Arnie and Carlos. I knit this square, which is the fox I just finished for Kristen, another Arnie and Carlos. This square is Punky by Knit Pick Stroll. Um, this was a mini. Nope. This is a Peyton's Croy sock. I don't know what color. This was Soxations in the 
green blue, I think it was called. My frozen socks are out of that. Oh, this this is the transistor socks for Kristen, and I can't for the life of me think of who did that. Anyway, uh, this is a mini. Oh, that's not a new one. Then in the next row, this is Desert Vista Dye Works. I can't remember the colorway. This is Spinning Fates. It's a puzzle. I'm a little low here. Puzzle. Um, this is an opal. This is uh, something, which I can't remember. This was a mini. I think I got this mini from Jen Di Maria. This was another mini. And this, I want to say, was another opal. So... I will hold it up in sections for you so you can see it if you're interested. It's kind of hard to do. But... Mine is 22 and 24 blocks long, depending because I'm doing the zigzag edge. Hold on. Sorry, Dewey is, is trying to get into everything. So that is my scrappy happy blanket and I will talk more about that in um, my purchases. The next thing I started, I just started this morning and it's a pair of socks and it is out of Knit Picks Felici in Balloon Ride. This is what the skein looks like. Really pretty. And I'm going to knit the Pebbles socks by Mina Phillips, in the expat, and I've just barely knit the cuff and, oops, started on the pattern. I only have two rows, well, two repeats of the pattern so far. But I like those. Pretty, pretty. I like the colors. Kristen did not fight me for this yarn, <laughs> which was good, because I said, I'm sorry, these are for me. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. Oh, that's all my whips. Two whips. Two active whips. Three inactive whips. So. What will I be knitting next? Well. Sorry, I thought there was something on my table. I want to knit more ornaments. I'm in a, on an ornament kick. I can't speak today, but I'm on an ornament kick. And I'm also on a dog sweater kick. I'm like, I can make him a Halloween sweater and a Thanksgiving sweater and Christmas. He already has Christmas sweaters, but in Christmas sweaters, he already has a Valentine's Day sweater. I can knit him all the sweaters in the world. So I'm going to knit Dewey some more sweaters. I have the yarn, so why not? Um, yeah. Yeah. Look at all my yarn. I have so much yarn too much yarn. Anyway, and what is new? I am trying really hard not to buy anything because, as I mentioned, Rhinebeck is only a few weeks away, and honestly, I have nothing on my must-buy at Rhinebeck list, with the exception of I want to get one skein of a Rhinebeck colorway. Hold on, I'll show you. All the vendors, not all the vendors, some of the vendors come out with Rhinebeck colorways. See, this is Rhinebeck 2011. I have the Socks at Rock from last year. I don't know that I will ever knit with these because this is like my souvenir from Rhinebeck. Um, but that's on my list. And the other thing on my list is Tuft Woolens. I want to get some of their, the bombs that they have for hands. I would like to try those. I would like to give those a shot. Um, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube talking about them, and I believe I read somewhere or saw somewhere that they were going to be either at Rhinebeck or offered at someone's Rhinebeck booth. So I do need to look into that. But what 
that doesn't mean I didn't get anything. I have gotten a few things. The first thing I got, I won from uh, Wolf Farms podcast for their super sport weight summer sweater knit along. Um, I, I won the prize and it was a bag from Rusted Root and I love this bag and it is officially Dewey's dog sweater bag and here it is. There's still yarn in it because I will be using it. It's actually, this is actually sweater fabric. It's like actually, like, I don't know if they use sweaters or, or whatnot. Really cool. And the lining is this pink and green. Oh, there's blue in there too. And blue. And I just love it. So this is officially, I even have the needles and all the yarn I use for Dewey sweaters. Officially. Dewey's dog sweater bag and I have a few on ha there are a few in the shop I have my eye on um, I highly suggest you go check them out again it is the rusted root the rusted not the rusted root the rusted stitch the rusted stitch and they are on Etsy and prices are reasonable nice quality sturdy bags Highly recommend. So thank you for that, Dawn. And um, the name is escaping me. Hot Pink Socks Reviews. The Rusted Stitch. Thank you for the bag. I, I absolutely love it. Um, next thing I got in the mail from someone who um, asked to remain anonymous. I got two Karen Cakes in pinks. This is Cherry Chip. And I love it. I think I might make a star blanket out of this. I'm not sure. We will see. It's going to have to live with me for a little while. So it looks like two sushi rolls. Um, hello. Okay, I have lost my mind. Anyway, this is going to live with me for a little while before it tells me what it wants to be. And also in that package were two skeins of facets. From Loops and Threads. One was for Kristen and one was for myself. This is a bulky. It is... What's, what's the contents? I can't find the... Oh, 100% acrylic. And the color is fuchsia. This one was sent for me. And... Capri Blue. This one was sent for Kristen. I will probably knit this for her because it's a single ply and um, she's tried to knit with yarn like this before and had a little bit of trouble so I'm going to let her tell me what she wants this to be and I will knit that up for her. So thank you very much. Very, very, very much. Love it. Um, the other thing I got was... Um, let's see, it's a one yard nitty naughty and it's by Katrinkies.com. I purchased it through Etsy and it came within like three days. It was super duper fast and it goes together just like these. It's a little easier when you don't have a dog in your hand, in your See? Cute. And I got this because my squares take 10 yards and I wanted to make some mini skeins and so I wanted to make 20 yard mini skeins. I don't know, they're, they're 5 grams, 5 to 6 grams. So I skeined up all the minis for myself and these are all my leftover minis. These are all my duplicate minis. So. If you are looking to trade with someone, mini skeins, contact me privately on Ravelry. I'd be happy to trade. I have two people I'm going to be trading with. I've got their packages just about ready to go, and I still have all of these. So just let me know. And the last thing I got, let's get the stamp here, um, was I didn't even know I was getting it because I pre-ordered it so long ago. Um, let's see. If you can see it here. All over here is my 60 Quick Knits books. And I have all of them with the exception of the cotton one. 
so far. I had pre-ordered 60 Quick Knits for little kids. This is Playful Knits for sizes 2 to 6, and they feature Pacific and Pacific Chunky. And this, this is a pretty good book. I, I would rate this a good purchase. Um, I really like the 60 Quick Knits books. There's always a few patterns I can find that I would like to knit. I love this sweater for the little man when he's, well, he's not so little, but when he gets bigger. And I saw a sweater for Sadie in here. I love this one, but I would do it in a solid color. Really cute. Um, just a lot of cute stuff in here. Um, there's, of course, the cover, cover sweater, like that. Vest. This is cute, too. I would probably knit that for the little guy. I'm not going to show you everything, but... A little poncho. I'm not a huge fan of ponchos, but I think on little kids they can be cute. There's hats, there's ponchos, there's mittens, there's blankets, there's just a little bit of everything. This is terrifying. I would never, even if I hated a child, knit them those. We'll say that. But in every book you're going to find something like that that you, you really wouldn't knit. I like that. Cute. I have a sweater very similar. So we could be twinsies because apparently I'm all about being twinsies. And I love this little jacket with the pockets oh my goodness I love this I don't know if I would probably adapt it to dog ears because Sadie loves dogs oh my god she would look so cute anyway so many cute things another one I'd like to knit for her because she's dress obsessed it has a little uh, you may or may not remember I knit a sweater for the baby with that chevron, those chevrons at the bottom, so I might knit that for her. Anyway, great book. All of the project, all the books I've been pleased with. Um, unlike the 100, what is it? 100, One Skein Wonders, 101 One Skein Wonders. Those I haven't been altogether pleased with. Those I may actually de-stash, I'm not sure. I don't think I've knit a single thing out of them. But these, love these. So that is all I have for today. I think I've been rambling on for probably half an hour. I've had to stop a few times because of Dewey. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. And like I said, tune in tune in next Thursday for the video on the giveaway uh, for my YouTube anniversary. Five years. I cannot believe it's been five years. Wow. I think it's been close to four years that I've been doing it as TGIF. Maybe a little shorter. But still, crazy, 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 crazy. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Have an awesome weekend, and I will talk to you soon. All right? Bye-bye.